Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about hypertension. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before discussing about hypertension, let's understand some basic terms like blood pressure. It is the pressure of blood pushing against the walls of your arteries. Arteries are the blood vessels that carry blood from your heart to other parts of the body. As you can see this is the artery and the pressure exerted by blood against these walls is the blood pressure So what is normal blood pressure When your blood pressure is checked with an electronic blood pressure machine you can see the monitor showing values like this Here this 120 is the systolic blood pressure and this 80 is the diastolic blood pressure You may wonder what are systolic and diastolic pressures Talking about the systolic blood pressure it's nothing but the pressure during the time of systole or in easier words when the heart contracts and ejects blood and diastolic pressure is the pressure when the heart fills with blood Now that we have understood the basic terms let's discuss about hypertension Hypertension is the blood pressure that is higher than the normal The blood pressure changes throughout the day based on your activities Having blood pressure measures consistently above normal may result in diagnosis of hypertension. Talking about the types of hypertension. There are two types of hypertension, primary or essential and secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension is a form of high blood pressure due to obesity, family history and an unhealthy diet. The exact etiology of hypertension is unknown. Secondary hypertension is a type of high blood pressure due to other medical conditions like kidney diseases, adrenal disease, thyroid problems and obstructive sleep apnea. So, how to know if you have high BP? The doctor concludes their diagnosis with the use of standard values and other measures. In this image you can see if the person has systolic BP less than 120 and diastolic less than 80, then they are normal. If they have systolic BP in the range of 120 to 129 and diastolic less than 80, it is slightly elevated. It can be due to various reasons like too much salt in the diet, smoking or being obese. Hypertension stage 1 is diagnosed when systolic BP is 130 to 139 and diastolic is 80 to 89. Hypertension stage 2 is diagnosed when systolic BP is 140 or higher and the diastolic is 90 or higher. There is a condition known as hypertensive crisis which is severe increase in blood pressure. The systolic BP can be higher than 180 and diastolic higher than 120. Coming to the symptoms of high blood pressure. There are no exact warning signs or symptoms, but people may experience headaches, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, blurry or double vision, and sometimes nose bleeds. As you know any condition leads to complications and so does hypertension. Hypertension can result in heart attack and heart disease. Let's see how. High blood pressure can damage the arteries by making them less elastic which decreases the flow of blood and oxygen to the heart and leads to chest pain or angina, heart attack or heart failure. Hypertension can also lead to stroke or other brain problems. High blood pressure can cause the arteries that supply blood and oxygen to the brain to burst or be blocked causing a stroke. In this image there are three ways depicted that result in a stroke. The first one is due to burst of an artery. The second one is due to ischemia. And the third is due to atherosclerosis. Brain cells die during a stroke because they do not get enough oxygen. Stroke can cause serious disabilities in speech. movement and other basic activities another condition is aneurysm aneurysms are bulging or ballooning of an artery due to weak walls there are various other complications of hypertension like kidney diseases dementia and metabolic syndrome coming to the treatment of hypertension there are variety of drugs that are used to control hypertension Your doctor may give you a single type of drug or a combination of drugs depending upon your situation. The drugs used to treat hypertension include diuretics, calcium channel blockers, renin angiotensin aldosterone inhibitors, 
sympatholytic and vasodilators you should never take any of these drugs without proper consultation with the doctor that is it for today guys in the next video we will discuss about various ways you can practice to control high blood pressure don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on instagram links in the description